Hey friends, today is the day Disney has invited us out to board the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. I am so excited to bring you guys along with me and show you all the cool offerings like lightsaber training and the nifty food like blue shrimp and green rice. There are so many amazing things. I cannot wait to point them all out. Anywho's, let's go do this. And here we go, it's time to head on in. Event check-in and event transportation. We're gonna have to board our shuttle to actually get to the Galactic Star Cruiser. If you don't know what the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is, it's basically a Star Wars themed resort here at Walt Disney World. It's very luxurious, it's very expensive, and it's kind of like boarding a cruise ship, but instead you're boarding a spaceship and going out to space on a space cruise. And you're completely immersed inside the Star Wars universe. Everything is space and Star Wars themed. The food, the beddings, the, the rooms, everything is. The windows, you look out and you don't see like outside Side, you just see like stars you see outer space and it costs just around $4,800 for two people in two nights and it's kind of expensive so make sure you guys let me know what you guys think is it worth it you know what I mean let me know in the comments if you guys think it's worth it or not and I'm just gonna show you all the amazing things that I get to do We have finally made it. Here we are. And we are heading in now. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Um, now we're going to uh, head up into the atrium. We're going to take a launch pod there. <laughs> oh boy, we're heading in now. Well, Look at this. My <laughs> no worries, no worries. Hold on, we're going to blast off. I know. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to get turbulent. Yes. Yes, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Buddha? Yeah. Oh yeah? What's up there? I'm sure you don't know. No, you don't know. I like your earrings. To push, like, so oh, yes. Oh, very fancy. You're you're you are fancy. <laughs> I cannot believe how amazing it looks in here. And it's just so bright and vibrant. I, I'm, I'm in love. I really, I'm in love. And I, it just started. It just started. How are you? What's your name? Captain Keenan. And yours? Oh, Nathan. Nathan. Yeah. No, oh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. I'm uh, looking to relax and enjoy. And, Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Well, I'm very excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Are you ready to explore Batu, our protocol? Oh, yes. I'm ready. I'm ready to go to Batu. Yes. <laughs> I do love an eager traveler. Now, what else have you heard about the house scene that you're most excited about? Uh, I, I'm excited to do some lightsaber training. Uh -huh. Yes. That does seem to be a favorite. Yeah. We also have our bridge training. Oh, the bridge training. I'm very excited for that. Yeah. Show you what it's like to be at the helm of house. Wow, is that right over there? That's our bridge, right through there. That's the Oh, wow. I'm going to go check that out now. Yeah. We will oh. be on our way shortly. All right, thank you. Hello, huh? Amanda. How I are you? I have to prepare for my show, so I must surprised. Oh, what are you drinking, though? Oh, this is the Gaia Special. Ooh. Exclusive only to me. Oh, oh, well, well, next time. <laughs> Bye. It is my honor to introduce the captain. She commands the ship with integrity, a steady hand, and the ferocious calm of a sleeping loft cat. <laughs> it is my honor to introduce Captain Riola Chiefen. You should never wake a sleeping loft cat. Welcome, travelers. It's our pleasure to have you aboard the Star Cruiser Halcyon. We have an, an exciting voyage ahead. Safe journeys, true adventure, and an unforgettable journey together 
aboard the Halcyon. Tabuate! Tabuate! And now if everyone would take a look at the bridge where the incredible Cassidy family sent us into our first jump to hyperspace. Oh yes, please. What is this? It is uh, it is blue milk fizz. Blue milk fizz. Wow, fancy. A little blue milk fizz. First time trying some of the Star Wars drinks. And I'm excited, look at this. Fancy. Anyone with an Ooh, that's good. Wristband. That's very nice. My apologies, Miss Maka. We seem to have a surprising talking request. Which standing will attend to, we will be on our way soon. I am Lieutenant Harlan Croy of the First Order. And what a pleasure it is to have you aboard our ship. Whose loyalties we do not know. That's preposterous. <laughs> I agree, Captain. Can you imagine harboring resistant sympathizers and aiding the enemy? Why? That would be. I will be stationed aboard the Halcyon during this voyage. I will inspect your ship, your crew, your passengers. Looks like the First Order has asked us to head to the engineer room, so we're going to have to go. I mean, we're First Order loyalists right now, but uh, we're heading to the engineer room now. We will be watching. <laughs> oh, thank you. Right this way, please. Quickly and efficiently. All the way in. Thank you. Right this way. Step. Step over here. Here. Oh, oh, oh. I'm pleased to see you all here. I began an investigation on the house because I suspected there was resistance activity on board. My intent was to investigate the crew, but I did not foresee finding such loyal followers. Yes, well. This, you might say, has been a pleasant surprise and a timely one. We, the friends of the First Order, have worked. Now, you here among you witnessed the unbolting and freeing of the droid they call SK-620. You did? Yep. I'm terribly sorry you had to witness that. But know this, we have extracted plenty of data. The Resistance need not be so confident in their plans. And who here has witnessed the disrespect of the First Order? Anyone? Yeah. Yes. 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 What, have, what have you witnessed? Oh, so I've been so disrespectful. Yes. Slandering. Yes. Slandering. I've been nothing but cordial and nice. Yeah. Yeah. You've been great. Thank you. We love you. And, and it seems they've even filled the head of the songstress Miss Gaia with their misinformation. Tragic. On a brighter note, who among you has helped to foil the plans of the Resistance? I have done my best. Thank you for yes. your service and your loyalty. <laughs> reasons are why we are here today oh. to continue the work that you have done. Loyalists, will you join me in this plan? Yes. yes. Now, pardon me, man. Taking down a ship of this size is no small operation. It will require precision and coordination between the different factions of our groups. Now, the engineering is the heart of these systems that power and sustain the house here. You can see in this schematic that they are all connected. We are going to install a cloaked program that when assembled will allow us to infiltrate and disable these systems. Very good. You will be uh, no one moves into life. <laughs> <laughs> At coolant systems back here. Patch bay, who has an eye for the table? Oh, that's Excellent. me. Excellent, you'll be on yes. catch bay back there. Catch bay, thank you. We are joining we up with the resistance. Uh oh. We're joining we up with the resistance to try to power order. down the hyperdrive. We cannot allow the resistance to win. I say we enter a second override, and this time we shall succeed. What say you, loyalists? For, yeah. for the order! Yeah. Let's go.
Okay. Please do this. Hold off. Right here. Juju, right here. Done. Oh, you have to hold. Yep. All right. Juju, juju, down right here, B. All right, it's in. This one's going here. Right here. Boom! Yes. <laughs> wow, we did it so much faster. Wait, 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 wait. Down. Yeah. This is the young one, yes. Good. Yep, we're good, we're good. That was that. Green, green, green. We're missing one green, one green. Uh oh, what about the top? Nine. Top play, Uh oh. Yes, we did it! Look at we got the green light! We did it! Yes! <laughs> what? No way! Oh! Oh, hold on, hold on! We're good, we're here! Oh. We're good, we're good! Uh oh. Second. Top. Wow. <laughs> Alright, we, we gotta hold it now. We're green! Holy moly! I think we did it! Guys, not much time left! Go, go, go! Done! <laughs> wow, look at this! <laughs> oh! We did it! <laughs> yes! We did it! Yes! Yes! So that was absolutely amazing and terrifying at the same time. I loved it though. <laughs> so, so cool. Well, hello everybody. Can you all hear me? Yeah. 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 All right. My name is Ashley. I work with Walt Disney Imagineering's Research and Development Group. And today I want to talk to you about something you're about to experience in your cabins. So I'm really excited to introduce to you guys D309, the ship's logistics droid. Now, guests can choose to talk to D309 in their cabins via a droid link panel, where you can talk about your journey. She loves to hear about the adventures you've been having while on board, and will give you some context about the events that are happening aboard the Halcyon Star Cruiser. Now, D309 is a playtest, and is only being playtested here at the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. There we go, we're going into the rooms. Yeah, Look at this. I'll have four more nights out with you. Wow. Oh, wow. So, this is the room. This is so amazing. So, these are the rooms that you actually sleep in, or the cabins. And look at this. <laughs> I love it. The bunk beds are amazing right here. Oh, this is really too cool. Like, it, it is really cool. And I also heard about this right here being the table that you can pull out because everything needs to be fastened down because we are on a star cruiser itself. So let's take a look, see, look at this. That's amazing, right? This will be your viewport if you would like to press the button. Which one? Any? You have to figure it out. It's a All right. adventure, isn't it? I guess you're right. My goodness. Oh, you did oh. It. there we go. Oh, oh. oh. Maybe wait just a moment. We oh. all know how finicky these words can be. Oh, wow. And here's your view into the outer rim of the planet. Right. Wow. We should be passing the Shindrilla going to Coruscant now as we went through hyperspace. So if you just take a look at the room, everything is rounded and kind of space themed. We have a nice recycle and trash can there. A remote. I like it. You have a little book light. 
plenty of pillows for the bed. And then of course we have the bunk beds, but there is also a pullout bed. Look at the little pullout bed they have here. Oh, I like it. This is nice. For the younglings, of course. Or the younglings at heart. <laughs> And then here's the thermostat too. So this is where you control the temperature in the room, then your phone, and it's, it's so amazing. Lots of storage, some extra blankets and pillows. So it's nice to travel to Hoth, of course. Oh yeah, especially when you go to Hoth. And then the restroom itself, even look at the soap. Look at this. This is lotion and oh, that would definitely be going in my purse. <laughs> I love everything in here. The shower, this is... It's, 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 it's amazing. Sometimes these data bank credentials can be a little bit finicky. This will be the ship, of course. Oh, no. They are. Contact me if anything changes. Oh, it's a new passenger. Hello, and welcome aboard. My name is D309, the logistics droid of the Halcyon, and I'll be available to you here during your journey. Have you used a droid link panel before? First timers here. So tell me, what brings you to our treasured ship? Vacation and leisure. If you want an unforgettable vacation, <laughs> you are on the right Star Cruiser. What are you looking forward to? Relaxation, galactic sightseeing, perhaps some adventure in wild space? Adventure in wild space sounds cool. Yeah. Adventurous passengers are my favorite. Now that we got the chance to check out the rooms, let's head out to the bridge. And I was excited to see that. All right, it's time to head to the bridge here. Welcome to your bridge operations. Go ahead and head to any of our station consoles. Now we're going to take part in some bridge training, and we haven't decided yet if we're for the order or if we are for the other side. So uh, it's kind of like 50 50, you know? You're going to move the order. And then you're going to turn the dial to rotate the door. Okay. You'll see it right here. I'm on it. Okay. You believe in me? I do. <laughs> So I have to turn this to try to grab it and then once I get I grab and pull it in very easy This one's easier. I think All right, here we go. All right. Three, two, I got one Done. All right. We got 14. 14. How many did you guys get? Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, you got eight. <laughs> we got 14. All large. All large. We got 14 large. Look at that. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. I trust that your training went well. Yes. 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 Incoming transmission, Captain. Oh, my apologies. Open the comm, please. Watch. Here. We've studied your history. Which is exactly why I installed one of my officers on your ship. And we've taken very good care of it. The lieutenant's investigation has intensified our suspicions. I believe the Halcyon and its crew are providing support to the resistance. It would be disappointing to find that the captain was at the center of it. Please, gather in close to me. I need to speak with you. Come close. Are you all willing and prepared to assist in ensuring the safety of the Halcyon and everyone on it? Yes. yes! Thank you. I would not normally involve passengers in this sort of operation, but as I said before, there is nothing <laughs> normal about the situation. To send a, dis a distress signal to the resistance. Captain. Our friends here have all agreed to help, right everyone? Yeah. No. Yes. Everyone, please go back to your stations. I need you to re-familiarize yourself with your consoles. Please, go to your stations. Now, Sammy, yeah. you will need to use a secure resistance relay. Watch as the board. The oh my lord, we're about to jump to hyperspace. In three, punch it!
you can just get to the trajectory and then let it go. Get down! We just got kicked off the bridge there, and uh, yeah, the first order is really—they've they, taken—they've taken control of the ship. Attention, passengers of the Halcyon. The first order has imposed a blockade on the Halcyon. The Halcyon is now under the authority of the first order. To destroy. Oh, but Samuel, yes, I can. And just look, I have. As we speak, TIE fighters are surrounding this ship. Star destroyers are moving into place. The Halcyon will not be allowed to leave this port. You've gone too far, Lieutenant. Oh, Captain, I'm not sure I've gone far enough. My investigation has deepened on your ship. And unfortunately, my suspicions have been concerned. Uh, has been confirmed. There is indeed Ignite the Spark! Ignite the Spark! We must remain calm in the face of such power. That is not what I was going to say. Those of you who have been loyal to the first war, well done. But there's still yet more work to do. I am still undecided. I don't know if I'm for the order or if I'm not. I think uh, I'll have to think about it a little bit longer until I decide, get my final, my final answer. I am so excited for lightsaber training. Alright, it looks like we're ready to come in, so please feel free to come in and we will meet Sasha Tizer. <laughs> come on in, friends. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Come on in, come on in. Thank you. Any extra items outside of your hollow scanners, please put them on the back bench over there because we are going to be moving around just a little bit, so we want to make sure that we can do that. Hey, friend. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Hey. And uh, if you didn't know me, now you do. Uh, my family held from Jeddah that was once home to the sacred temple of the Kyber, an ancient order of those who protect. And now I and the other descendants of Jeddah, we, we pass along knowledge of the Force to those who wish to learn. And that's you. 
I say, ready position, I want you to activate the stance as quickly as possible. Do we understand? Yeah. yeah. Good. Now, we will move forward to ready position. <laughs> we're working on it. And yes, yes, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. We're, we're, we're learning. That's the point of class. We're learning. Um, we're I like that. You'll need that reaction time, especially in line with the sublight lounge. Now, students, turn your awareness up front because these. And they have been used in lightsaber training for generations. And today, each and every one of you get to continue in this legendary tradition of training. Now, I know. The training remote will fire a low power energy blast, which you must move your lightsaber to deflect. But before each blast, there'll be a blue tracer beam. Now, this beam is not the blast. This is just a guide, an indicator to let you know where the blast will come from. Do we understand? Yes. yes. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's cool, right? Believe me, that never gets old. <laughs> now, when you engage the training mode, you will meet the beam, block the blast, and return to center. Meet the beam, block the blast, and return to center. Always back to center, always back in balance. This will help you learn to control the lightsaber as you learn to wield it. Now, what's your name, friend? Taylor. Taylor, you get the first lightsaber. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yes! Yeah! yeah. Now, do not activate until I ask you to, all right? Now, I'm gonna hand out the lightsabers to all my guardians up front, but listen closely. Wielding a lightsaber is a discipline, yes, but it's also an art. I love that, Jojo. An art is as unique as each and every position. Saber up right. Now, ignite your lightsabers. Yes, everyone, take a deep breath in. Turn that awareness forward. Focus. Let's engage. All right, meet the beam. Good. Block the block. Turn the center. Be patient. Turn the center. Good. Keep that up. You understand? You got it. You in? Jojo, step it up and out. Good thing. Okay. Move your body away from the blast. You don't get your blast. Good job. I don't even have coaching points over here. Professional. <laughs> right, I got it. Come on. Yes. Good job. Good work. All right. Everyone, take a deep breath in. Focus forward. Engage. Oh. 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 Yes. We're reaching out. I'm distracted by my small students. Good. Oh, that Hold on. Okay. You're blocking any good You're blocking any good money. You're blocking any good money. you like the shields carried into battle by the clone troopers, they were built to withstand blaster fire. You'll be able to both see and feel the impact. We have a right position with the shield as well. We find that same grounded stance. Find that stance. We pull our shield in front of us. Ready to anticipate the battle ahead. Good stance. Yes, that's it. Grounded. All right, guardians up front. Are you ready? Ready. Defenders, are you prepared? Yes. yes. Support, let's hear you. Woo! <laughs> Everyone, ready position. Ignite those lightsabers. Shields facing forward. Take a deep breath in. Everyone, let's engage.
right, now it's time to shield. <laughs> I got your lightsabers. Shield's facing forward. Everyone deep breath in. And engage. Let's get it. Perfect score this time. the force yes 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 we are together as one well. ready positions now it's time we have to use the force to actually find the beam those lightsabers shield face them forward bring them up everyone deep breath in engage up left, up left. feel it Nate Feel the force course through you. <laughs> so apparently Tim's feeling the force. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you got this! Oh my lord, the lightsaber training is amazing! And then as soon as we got out, we trapped some stormtroopers in, inside of a door, and then Chewie came and got arrested. Things are escalating so quickly. Oh my lord. Saber training, they all did a great job. You've all seen a Wookiee before, right? Saber training, run! Play cool. Play cool. So, lightsaber training. Yeah, it was amazing. Ready? Would you like to join us in the train? Alright, then, um, then don't let us keep you. Um, Carry on. Uh, Friends, this way. We're you are I am dismissed. Oh, Thank you, friend. I think I hear something suspicious. Let's go that way. Yeah, let's go this way. Let's go check this out. We're gonna. What's going on here? Yeah, come on. Let's get. Let's go. Let's get to the bottom of this, right now. Something's afoot here. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door! Lock him in, lock him in! Hey! <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs> Should I let him out? Somehow we're going. Uh, we'll take good care of it. Just don't you worry. Okay. The door's broke. It's it's not working. Oh, good job. Go. We made. <laughs> Six. Six. This should do it. Oh. Oh. Hey guys. 
That's right. Of course, of course. <laughs> we tried. That's why we stuck around. Well, aren't you clever? Yes. We got you out. Here. I think we're all friends with Chewy, right? Yeah. 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 Chewy, it looks like you made a lot of friends. You're really popular. <laughs> <laughs> he says he knows. <laughs> are you just touring or what are you looking for? No. What do you need to get? Okay, well, you know, there's some places we can't we can't go to the atrium right now. I don't know where the first order is. Does anyone know where the first order is? Okay, okay, so, no, well, Chewy, that's not the way you need to go, my friend. If the the first order is in the engineering area. That's the way. Well, I mean, he is a mechanic, so he does like engineering rooms. But right now, I don't think it's a place he can go. So. I know, Chewy. Chewy, this is the youngest student I've ever had. What's his name? Guys, Luke. Luke was in my training pod earlier, and he. Oh. Hey. All right. Uh, listen, troopers. Hey, they're, she's just existing like everybody else, right? Not now. Sorry. We've got orders. Hey, 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 no. Let, let, let. let him go. Down with the first order. Yeah. Okay. I like sparkling water. I love sparkling water. It's all I drink. Well, what about the flat water? Yuck! You can get that on Earth. <laughs> why, why would you want that if you can get this in space? Yes, I guess you're right. Let's go. Get sparkling it. Sparkling water, it is. Actually, I want to try a little bit of the ambient water as well. A little sparkling water. I don't like that at all. In the ambient water. What do you get? Some chilled water there? Yeah. Oh, chill flat water. Cheers. 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 Oh, yeah. Water. That's high quality H2O. Oh, yeah. High quality water H2O. Space, baby. Now it is time for a galactic tasting. We're going to be able to try some of the food they prepare here uh, on the uh, Galactic Star Cruiser. And I'm so excited. Like I said in the beginning, we have blue shrimp and green rice. I'm not even too sure what we're going to be able to try, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm hungry, so I'll eat anything at this point. Oh boy, look at this. Oh yes, it looks like it's getting better here. This is really fancy. This is the Crown of Corellia dining room, and this is also a dinner show, so Gaia's gonna be performing like right up here, and I'm so excited to actually eat some food. It looks so amazing in here. They have a menu. I'm gonna show you the menu, but uh, we're gonna be getting a sample of some of uh, like its best. Uh, so we're gonna get little tiny pieces of everything, but they do have like a regular menu, and it's right here. Let me give you a quick look, so. Taste around the galaxy. Mustafarian spreads and breads. A nice little bread service for course run. Taste around the galaxy. We have a Mustafarian bread service. And then also we've got some Felucian shrimp. And that's the blue shrimp that everyone's talking about. And uh, course three is going to be braised banta beef short rib and then also a seared white fish so that looks at that i mean that looks really really good sounds really good and then we also have an air cake to finish off but if you want like a kind of picky explorer like eater uh they do have some other offerings like on the kids menu or the younglings menu they have the tip yip which is something that they actually serve over in docking bay seven and i'm just excited to try all this and then they see the show Looks like we're gonna have some specialty uh, beverages too. This is a poison spear. And look at this. Doesn't it look like really fancy? We're gonna give it a go. I don't think there's any alcohol in this either. Oh wow. That is really good actually. Oh, we have some more. 
Here is a look at the food. This seems to be the whitefish right here. And then we have the banter short rib over there. And this looks like a little like bao bun here. Oh yeah, look at that. And I like how it's different colors. This is this is like really, really fancy. It looks amazing. I can't wait to dive into it. And I think we're gonna get a hearth uh, icebreaker right here. Look at, they're dropping them off right now. Fancy. All right. For a hot icebreaker. Ooh, what's in it? So it is kind of like a, a, um, a refreshing citrusy lemonade with a nice kick into it. Oh, okay. And, uh, the uh, garnish, it is edible also. Ooh, the garnish is edible. All right, sounds good to me. Thank you. Also, look at how cool the silverware looks. I don't know why I just kind of get, you know, <laughs> happy about fancy silverware. And I like this knife. You might want to put it in my purse. <laughs> put it in your purse, put it in your purse. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna try the bao bun and there's a tip yip inside there. So it's like a chicken bao bun. And uh, it looks really good though. It's Oh yeah, that's good. Now, we're gonna try the short rib, the banter short rib. Attention everyone, hello! How's everyone doing today? No, yeah. good! Excellent, excellent. I am Rafe Cole. I am Guy's manager. And today I have the honor of introducing someone who is, in every sense of the word, a star. Gaia! Thank you, darlings. What a spectacular welcome. I am thrilled to be here with you on board the Halcyon. I've got that. No, I mean, 
digging deep down and bringing out those feelings that you would rather keep sealed away. But I have found throughout <laughs> Shut down the ship. We need you to get to the atrium, please. Yep, people, come on. Orange group, orange group, we're headed right out here. What about my dinner? <laughs> what about the dinner? We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. Can I bring my drink with me? They shut down the power. I'm taking my drink and we're getting out of here. Oh yes, yes, yes. This is good. I grabbed the drink. Are you right? Yeah. Should we sit at his table? Bring in the drink. Please head to your muster station. Oh my lord. Where is she? I know. 
Jedi? Resistance? They're gone, Ray. So let them go. No, I won't. It doesn't start. everything that just happened. We're just sitting there enjoying dinner, listening to the Gaia, and then everything just it went horribly wrong. And it turned into this epic showdown between Ray and Kylo Ren and it was it was amazing. It was it was so so amazing. The story literally has been unfolding since the beginning, since when we first got here. 
and now it just wrapped up. Like this is crazy. Bye, thank you guys, thank you. Yes, I don't wanna go. Goodbye. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here today. What an amazing experience, I have to tell you. I felt like it never stopped. We were only in there for about eight hours, maybe. The whole entire experience was maybe maybe less than eight hours, but I felt like I was there for days, days and days and days. And there were so many memorable moments that I'm gonna look back and cherish like forever. Like me and Josh locking the stormtroopers into the doors, uh, Tim, Tracker, and Jojo uh, guiding me on lightsaber training. Lightsaber training was one of my favorite things. I didn't even get to eat the food. Like I was so mad mesmerized by Gaia and her performance and I was up close and I was just right there and I felt like she was singing directly to me I didn't even focus on my food and the next thing you know everything went wrong and we had to leave and it was an emergency exit and we get up there and next thing you know Kylo Ren's there and Ray and Chewie and I loved it I mean this was this was so amazing <laughs> I'm sorry I'm little <laughs> A little choked up I'm a little choked up because it was like wow but let me know in the comments what you guys think I feel like you really can't tell somebody whether or not it's worth it because that's somebody's you know decision making I I can't tell you something's worth it I, if you like something and you want to do it then go ahead and do it if for me I would do it I mean I know I didn't pay for this uh, Disney did uh, you know host me but I want to bring my mom and sister to it. And they don't even like Star Wars. I think it would be a fun experience because it's it's non-stop. It's non-stop. And this is something you actually have to put into play. Some of the rooms at Disney World are just about the same price. Like some of the rooms are like $2,000 a night here at Disney World. And people are booking and staying in those rooms. You know what I mean? You don't get all of that. You don't get the dinner show. You don't get to have all you care to eat. They have blue and green milk on tap. You just self-serve bada bing bada boom like that's insane right and that's like something that i think a lot of people are overlooking you know what i mean and uh yeah just let me know what you guys thought let me know what you guys thought and also let me know what your favorite thing was because i tried to capture everything we didn't get to do everything but I can't wait. I, I'm definitely coming back. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.